everyone welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello my name is Charlotte and today's video is going to be all about my week 39 of pregnancy uh, with baby number two if you've been keeping update with me updated with me um, you know I go over symptoms cravings and activities that week uh, doctor's appointments that kind of thing Right now I am being seen weekly because I am 39 weeks and I went to my 39 week appointment yesterday. Uh, that appointment was four days into my 39 weeks. Uh, today I am 39 and five days. So I've got two more days yet, but I would like to film my uh, updates a little in advance prior to the next week. So we're gonna start with the symptoms. I'm pottying at least once a night, so going to the restroom at least once every night. I typically go about um, about three hours after I've gone to sleep, and I try to not get up again afterwards. The beginning of week 39, I felt less uncomfortable uh, than week 38. I'll leave that video linked down below. Week 38 was very hard on me. Um, and emotionally all around, but I will leave that video link down below. I've been using the restroom again. I'm not so constipated in the beginning of the week. As of right now, I am, and it's driving me crazy. Uh, less baby movement. He is more not so jabby, um, and a lot of times I'll find that I need to move around a little bit just to see if he's in there, <laughs> like just okay, and but he does still, he does still like me, me, and he's moving around quite a bit here and there. Uh, but it's just not as like jabby, I guess you could say. In the beginning of the week, I still have it sometimes, but at night when I'm sleeping, I sleep on my sides. Uh, I find my pelvis right in the center, right where his head is down there. Um, it pops when I turn side to side uh, just my body prepping for birth that kind of thing activities I like I said I had my appointment yesterday uh, I'm gonna go into details about that now as far as my status goes um, my cervix is still high and I am still a two centimeter at two centimeters at two centimeters so I'm not too happy about that um, again that's dilation I need to go up to 10 to have him uh, vaginally Asher where he is uh, he's got plenty of fluid in his um, in my uterus he's got plenty of fluid in there uh, I did have an ultrasound done because the doctor was kind of like not sure how he was positioned she knew that he was head down but she wasn't quite sure where else his other but where where his other body parts were. <laughs> so she didn't hesitate at all to go ahead and look. I don't know if she was like a little disturbed a little bit, but or not, but then when she looked, it was okay. He was positioned in a C shape. He was kind of different. He was crouched in, but that was after the cervical check. So I don't know if that kind of made him tense up a little bit. My placenta is located on my right side where I thought it was and it's still kind of lower than I would like it to be but the doctor didn't seem worried about that didn't say anything as far as Asher's status goes he his heart rate has lowered at least for that appointment last appointment at 38 weeks he was 144 heart rate this appointment he was 135 um, his head is very low he's he's ready to come out it's just my body is not ready to release him. <laughs> his face is towards my right hip. He's on his side, at least for this appointment. And I think for the majority of the time he is on his side. So that's pretty much all I have for the symptoms, cravings. Uh, I didn't really have any cravings specifically other than I like to eat uh, ice cream, um, either a milkshake or just I don't know I just like any kind of ice cream right now so I'd like to talk a little bit about what I am going through with the intentions or the uh, suspense 
of going into active labor on my own. I hope to go in active labor on my own, but we have made an appointment for an induction date, and that is on the 24th, which is a Saturday of March. And uh, basically, if I go up to that point, I need to call the hospital that morning at about 8 a.m. and see if they have any rooms available, if they can get me in right away. That is my prayer that I can, if that has to come to that. Uh, if not, I have to keep calling back whenever the nurse tells me to, um, just to keep checking to see if they have room or staff available to help me out to get me started in that process. I did the same thing with Ava, my firstborn, and I had to wait an extra day for her uh, induction, so she was 41 in one day. Basically, I'm hoping and praying that I don't have to do that again because this hospital here that I'm going to is very, very busy. Um, lots and lots of babies are born here. And I'm just hoping and praying my body naturally goes into labor and everything works out fine. Um, I'm getting less and less nervous about it the further along I get. Uh, just because I'm just like overly ready and I'm just kind of waiting around now and now I'm just kind of doing what I can to keep my mind busy and my body active uh, lots of walking uh, things around the house and my husband has taken off a couple days just in case if I do go into labor prior to the weekend so he is home now uh, but you know we're just doing the waiting game so I am 40 weeks. My due date is March 17th. The likelihood of me going on that day is extremely slim. I've already pretty much accepted that it's not gonna happen. Um, however, I would be very, very happy if I went one of the days prior to 41 weeks, you know? So um, prayer is always welcome on my end. Uh, I really appreciate that and yeah that's pretty much what I have for you in this week 39 appointment or er, <laughs> week 39 update and I will see you in the next one or hopefully not have a next one <laughs> all right bye